Hi friends, this is our fourth class of graphic designing course and this class is very important and informative because in this class we will discuss principles of graphic designing. Concept of principles is very important. Friends, these concepts will define how much you can excel in this field and how much money you can make with this skill. So please consider these basic concepts essential and make notes of them. And those of you who have not seen the previous classes completely must watch them so that they can take full advantage of this course. Let's get start. Friends, you are well aware that there are two very important concepts of graphic designing, elements of design and principles of design. In the first class of the course, I gave you an example that just as we need ingredients and principles to make any food dish Similarly, to make any design, we need elements and principles. Let's talk about the principles of design. Principles of design are the rules that a designer must follow to create an effective and attractive composition. The principles are total 8 in number, balance, proximity, alignment, repetition, contrast, emphasis, movement and pattern. We will discuss these principles in detail. In this class, we will discuss first four principles in detail. The first principle which we will discuss in this class is balance. Balance is basically equal distribution of visual weight. Balance is important principle in graphic design. If you use this principle in your designs, your designs looks amazing, looks beautiful. In this picture, you can see that this red heart uh, captures your eye because this red heart have visual weight in it. This is due to its different color. Other hearts have a yellow color and all the hearts have same color while this heart have a red color, a different color. So it have visual weight. So what is visual weight basically? Visual weight basically a measure of the force that an element exerts to attack the eye of the viewer. Visual weight is basically a force which it exerts to attract the viewer eye. And uh, visual weight is uh, exerted by the any element. An element may be shape, color, size, line, etc. You can use balance or you can create a visual weight by changing shape of the element by changing color, size, line, etc. Moreover, balance have a very close relationship with the visual weight. Next one is balance types. We have three different balance types, symmetrical balance, asymmetrical balance and radial balance. First of all, what is symmetrical balance? As the name suggests, symmetrical balance, symmetry. Symmetrical balance basically refers to the balance that is achieved by arranging elements on either side of the center of the composition in an equally weighted manner. Symmetrical balance is basically that balance in which we arrange elements that have equal weight. For example, in this picture you can see that if we cut this picture from the central point, both right and left segment is mirror image of each other are equally have equal weight similarly you can see uh, here are two boys seated on a seesaw and these have uh, equal weight so here it is a symmetrical balance they are symmetrically balanced similarly if we cut this image from the central point from the central point left and right segment are uh, equal to each other have uh, our mirror images to each other have equal weight so we can say that in these pictures in these examples here it is a symmetrical balance a symmetry is basically lies here similarly Taj Mahal one of the best example of symmetrical balance friends this Taj Mahal is constructed on the basis of symmetrical balance if you cut this uh, Taj Mahal from the central point you can clearly see that the right and the left side both are mirror images of each other and both sides have equal weight. Similarly, this 
building have a symmetrical balance in it if you cut this picture from the central point or if you dissect this uh, building from the central point the left and the right side both have the same weight next one is asymmetrical balance after the symmetrical balance the next type of the balance is asymmetrical balance as the name suggests asymmetrical which means that there is no balance there is there are two dissimilar sides of a design and uh, have a visual weight that is unequal to each other for example this is an example of symmetry and this is an example of asymmetry here is the visual weight is more than this side similarly in this example you can see that this object have a more visual weight as compared to this so in these examples you can clearly note the difference between symmetrical balance and asymmetrical balance moreover uh, it is again the example of asymmetrical balance here you can see there is, a, there is more visual weight as compared to this similarly here is more visual weight as compared to this here is a more weight as compared to this so we can say that these are the examples of asymmetrical balance and you clearly noted that uh, this in this composition or in this picture there are four cups while in this there are, is only one cup and you have uh, less visual weight as compared to these four cups next one is friends radial symmetry which is the third type of balance uh, radial as the name suggests radial which means circle uh, radial symmetry or balance is a type of balance in which the parts of an object or picture are regularly arranged or radiate from the central point um, moreover friends radial symmetry lies in both uh, natural and uh, human made objects for example it is a starfish it is a natural and you can see that uh, that uh, lines are radiate from the central point similarly in this wheel, uh, wheel which is a human made object you can clearly see they see that there is a radial symmetry uh, so this is uh, uh, all about the first principle of uh, design that is balance. Next uh, principle of design is proximity. Uh, proximity. Proximity basically means nearness and uh, proximity may be in space, time or design. Here you can see the logo of IBM, a very famous company logo. And this logo is designed on the basis of two principles and uh, that principles are proximity and uh, repetition and the elements here used is line. Uh, proximity is basically a technique through which we organize our elements. Same elements are placed together with, it, with each other or uh, same elements are closely packed to each other are repeated again and again so that we can obtain this principle which means nearness. Moreover, unity is obtained by proximity principle. If you use this principle in your designs, your designs looks amazing, organized. For example, if you see this example, here is no unity, here is no organization. For example, uh, and if, in this example, you can see there is a clear organization, a unity, which makes it amazing and beautiful similarly in this example here are the circles dispersed while the in this uh, there are these circles are united so it looks beautiful than this uh, and this is achieved due to the principle of proximity and proximity you can uh, create uh, you can uh, use this uh, principle in your designs uh, by uh, closely uh, by closely arranging your elements uh, and that, that elements may be lines or uh, uh, shapes or anything or, or any element which you want to use in your design next principle of design is alignment i hope that you are aware with this term alignment alignment is basically arranging elements of design with a straight line and uh, this straight line may be visible or invisible for example here you can see the lines and uh, if you see a newspaper there is no line but the elements are arranged and the elements are arranged in a beautiful manner and there is no line but the uh, but the elements body text headlines are beautifully arranged in newspapers books so why what is the importance of alignment alignment is basically helps to unify the elements on a page by creating a visual connection between them moreover alignment 
have a very impact in our lives as well if the cars are aligned in an organized manner in the parking they, uh, it looks beautiful while in the you can see there is a traffic and uh, there is so much pollution noise etc there is no organization no unity no visual connection while in this you can see the, these cars are beautifully arranged with the help of alignment while there is no alignment more pollution more negative effects on society so this is the importance of uh, alignment principle moreover alignment uh, there are four types of alignments edge center horizontal vertical i hope you are well aware with these types if you use microsoft world in your life ever uh, center alignment is basically in center alignment content is anchored down the middle this is the example of center alignment left alignment in left alignment content is anchored to the left side if uh, these shapes are aligned on the left side we can say that this is a left alignment in right alignment here here is an example of the right alignment in this uh, the elements or objects or the content is anchored to the right side justified alignment is basically in which content anchored evenly between two lines is. moreover alignment is essential for text we, we we will use this principle more in our designs which are related to the text in which typography is mostly used so this is about this is all about the principle of design alignment next principle of design is repetition which is closely related to proximity repetition is basically using same element in design again and again and the repetition is uh, helps to create a consistency and association as uh, i have the, i have told you in the principle of design proximity i have said that uh, repetition and proximity are closely related to each other but they, uh, both are different things repetition create balance in our designs moreover repetition principle is useful in creating textures and backgrounds for posters brochures and logos and we will create in the practice uh, session inshallah elements uh, uh, which are used uh, for the repetition principle may be lines shapes or colors same as uh, proximity principle uh, here you can see examples of repetition principle in this example the line element is repeated again and again and uh, more uh, this is the same example which i have told you in proximity principle similarly in this shape circles are repeated again and again and it uh, this uh, design is you can see basically on uh, backgrounds of posters or uh, websites etc similarly here you can see this image is static but it looks like that it is moving why because the the elements are uh, repeated again and again in such a way in such an organized way that it looks like that this image is moving so friends this is all about uh, repetition principle 